Welcome to our video and Shameless proudly present. I will be reviewing Shameless Green Entertainment's 2014 release of Lucio Fulci's Policiarchi classic, Contraband, aka The Naples Connection. First off, let's start with a little background info on one of the UK's most striking DVD labels. Launched on October 1st, 2007, Shameless Green Entertainment specializes in their own words vile, evil, gore-soaked, demented, disturbing, deranged, naked flesh-filled, flesh-whipping, depraved, tormenting movies that will delight horror and exploitation fans. And though at least some of their titles live up to that promise, such as the still-censored New York Ripper, Cannibal Holocaust and House on the Edge of the Park, their catalogue also caters to the more devoted Italian Genoa fan, with more quieter entries, such as the high art giallos like the Vittorio Storato photographed Footprints on the Moon, The Strangers on a Train Reinvention, The Designated Victim, and the stunning fairy tale like House with the Laughing Windows. Shameless are most notable for their deliciously lurid product design. They are a true standout in retail stores with their provocative cover art dressed across those now trademark yellow boxes. This centrally assaulting look is perfect for the film niche that they have chosen to specialise in and elevates their releases which only consist of the film and a bevy of trailers usually to something a collector would be proud to have on their shelves. It's a smart move, especially when you compare a similar effort like 88 Films Grindhouse Collection whose box designs are nowhere as near as inspired. However, I must point out that Shameless, once in a while, do pull out all the stops and deliver what can be rightfully called a fan edition, but understandably to only more famous or infamous titles. In a nutshell, Shameless are the designer label of cult film distributors, making up for lackluster extras with Ultra Style and uh, Pan S. Now that's out of the way, let's get on with the review. Luca D'Angelo is an idealistic family man and dockside worker who works for a shady underground smuggler in hauling illegal merchandise, imported cigarettes and booze down the coastal waterways of Naples, Italy. Things in his life become complicated when his brother and a number of fellow smugglers are murdered by a rival smuggler from France, known as the Margalese, whom is determined to become drug kingpin of Italy and wipe out all the competition. Luca must join forces with rival Naples smugglers, a powerful Italian mafia, as well as the local police to track down the French sadist when he abducts Luca's wife. Contraband was Lucio Fulci's only crime thriller, the rest being murder mysteries, erotic satire or horror fantasy. Those familiar with Fulci's most famous works, including Zombie Flesh Eaters and his Gates of Hell trilogy, will find Contraband's reality-based carnage sort of a shock to the senses, and for those who have no idea what they are getting into, they might find a slow-paced and extraordinarily gory gangster film with which likes have never been seen outside of Asia. Personally, hearing about the release back in July, I was surprised that Shameless was going to re-release Contraband, as when I first saw it, uh, I found nothing major enough to justify the label giving it its attention. When first watching the film with Blue Underground's release, I was bored shitless. The cover promised a French Connection clone in the uh, same vein of something like uh, Street Law, and that was not what I got. Vapid though as it is, it was not until Shameless's uh, gloriously tasteless headshot cover that I realised that this was not what Contraband actually was or ever intended to be, just like Zombie Flesh Eaters was not just a Dawn of Dead clone. What I realised with Shameless's down to the point packaging was that Contraband is an avant-garde film disguised as a gangster piece, and that Fulci himself was an avant-garde director just using Genoa like all great avant-garde directors do in order to get their unique and divisive visions onto the screen. Fulci's visions of course are visions of hell, which include the most outlandish desecrations of the mind and body set around a grim, unjust world with which the worst is only yet to come. Fulci also happened to be a competent professional and storyteller, managing to include scenes of family drama, comedy and underworld politics with relevant ease and grace considering the masterfully tasteless quality of the bloodletting. Such creates an anachronistic tone, which veers violently in between genres and allows for character development and plot to both have their moments without either taking centre stage. 
An example of this is how Fulci forebodes the bloody climatic shootout throughout the film by inserting segments of one of the old dons involved in the later gunplay. Some would say this is executed clumsily, but the non-sequitur timing of these scenes gives the don a symbolic or metaphorical status rather than that of just a plot point, which is all he is. Being detached from the rest of the narrative allows for him to be objectified more and seen as an embodiment of the film's rather dubious, godfather-like sentimentality of the old days of mafiadom compared to the contemporary free market thuggery that has allowed the sadistic French antagonist to muscle into the Naples smuggling ring with his hard drugs, only for him and his crew to be cut down in an absurdly satisfying manner by the old order. Even though this message is completely immoral and more than slightly xenophobic, it can't be denied that it's executed quite masterfully as it manages to take centre stage by the film's end while still leaving protagonist Luca's tale of revenge to be completely intact and not brushed away in aid of the message. This shameless release comes with a fenticular lens, theatrical trailer and a first time release of the original Italian dub. It is the dub which makes Shameless's release a must because it does truly add a lot to the experience. It's better written and acted despite some segments still being in English, probably due to the warm quality of the Italian track. However, it is still not much in comparison to another Fulci classic released by Shameless, The New York Ripper, which had a booklet, interviews and optional Italian, Spanish and German dub tracks and was also on Blu-ray. However, the Italian dub Shameless has put out adds so much more to the film where the laughable English dub took away in terms of both script and voice performance that I feel the purchase was worthwhile. I know. <laughs> yeah, I was driving a little fast. Yeah, but you see, officer, it was it was an emergency and I No, no, no! <laughs> Oh my god. Cristo, no! Vai, 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 prega te, vai! Accetta! Questi sono i tempi che corrono, si sparano addosso! Lo so, maresciallo, andavo di fretta e guidavo troppo forte. Mi deve scusare. Era solamente in un caso di emergenza. No! No!
It's given me a new outlook on the film, and where before I felt it to be a minor Fulci work, I now see Contraband as something other low-budget gangster films should aspire to, with its hard-boiled yet multi-layered story, distinctive characters, brutal style, and insane violence. Anyway, I've never heard this before.